look on the screen. You see God whispering in his ear. He really, I swear to God, you can't make this up. I swear you can't make stuff like this up. When karma coming for you, it's going to find you, even at a concert. You could run, but you could really never hide. Mr. I sue everybody. Running. There you go. I, will, I want my... Look at the venue. The venue is half empty. That's crazy. When karma come for that ass, okay? Listen, hey guys, it's Jovi. Welcome back to my channel. Like, subscribe, all that good, good shit. Listen, it was about a week. It was about a week ago. It was about a week ago that Tyrese was out here blasting his first ex-wife, you know, and suing her. And like a month before that or so, that he was suing a second ex-wife. He's suing um, Home Depot. All of this, remember? Remember? Yo, but I guess it's it's all good when he's the one who's suing people, right? But it seems to be problematic when someone's trying to sue him. Yo, y'all saw the video. Y'all saw the video. Tyrese was out here in Georgia, okay, doing a concert, which at this point he need to be Brian McKnighted. Okay, that's the way I see it. Okay, no sales. But he's out here wholeheartedly doing a concert. Y'all saw the video and walked out while singing to avoid a process server because someone is suing him. Come on now, it's all fear. It's all fear in the sewage of it all. What happened? Last week you were suing your ex-wife. What happened, bruh? Anyway, let me read this article from Complex, okay? Tyrese was performing in Georgia over the weekend when he quite literally exits stage right in the middle of a song to allegedly dodge someone who was going to serve him with legal papers. Wow. Okay. According to TMZ, Tyrese was nearly done with his set when a security guard attendant stood next to him on stage and informed him of a process server present at the venue. While singing, how you gonna act like that? <laughs> Y'all, y'all, these, oh my God. Like, I can't, like, where is the disconnect? Where is the disconnect? How can the universe keep screaming at these, at these people and they don't seem to get it, okay? But anyway, he was singing, how you gonna act like that? Which feels like a joke that writes itself. The 45 year old jumped off the stage and walked up the side steps and his med as he made his way to the exit. Tyrese continued to sing and express his appreciation for the crowd before making a successful getaway. A source tells TMZ that there were only three songs remaining on the set list. I want my money back. I want my money back. Okay, well, I wouldn't go anyway. Though, what am I gonna do, singer, is facing a $10 million defamation um, lawsuit from Brian Barber, who's accused Tyrese of, a ca of attacking his character and reputation in an interview on The Breakfast Club. Barber claims Tyrese falsely stated, stated that the director kept footage from a recorded interview with Charlemagne the God. Instead, Barber alleged the singer asked him to hold the footage to protect his reputation. The director also urged Tyrese uh, Gibson refused to to adhere to the previous 50-50 revenue split that he and Barbara previously negotiated for the CTG interview. So, so from what I'm gathering, Tyrese tried to do some fraudulent things with some money and then turn around and be like, oh, that wasn't the situation. He was probably trying to hide money from the ex-wives, okay? Listen, you see how God gets you? You see how God gets you, okay? We said, what did I say the last time I made a video like a week or two ago about Tyrese when he wanted to sue the first wife for um, um, tuition for his daughter, okay? Ain't nothing, gonna good, ain't nothing good gonna come to you till you do right by the women and your children. 
nothing okay so all of that i'm i'm trying to keep my money i'm trying to make i don't want to pay my daughter's tuition i don't want to uh, i don't want to uh, I don't want to pay care of my children. I don't want to, I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to. You about to lose a substantial amount of money in this lawsuit to someone who ain't even related to you. I love it for you. I love it for Tyrese and men like Tyrese. The karma of it all does never click for people. It never clicks for people. He think this is, this is two separate situations. It is technically two separate situations but y'all is this not god is this not god is this not god saying you don't want to take care of yours you want to put these women in position then be mad and angry and want them to struggle and suffer so who's going to struggle and suffer now you is this not god the karma of it all it is how is the karma of all of this lost on a nigga like this? I love it for them. Let it continue. Because from what I'm gathering, he was trying to hide the money. And now it came and then lied on it. And now we're coming back to bite you. Because that man, what's his name? What's his name? Barber? What's his name? Brian Barber ain't playing with your ass. You ain't going to get him caught up in your foolishness because you don't want to take care of yours. Okay? I love it for him. We going to keep you going to keep this um we going to keep following this story. Um I bet you his ex-wives aren't hiding from process servers for the million of ridiculous lawsuits and shit he sends towards them. I bet you they're not doing that. Again, Please don't forget to like this video. I want to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about this Tyree situation? Um, let me know in the comment. And let and and, and and if you think this is of God, y'all know I don't even do I don't even do Christianity. Is this of God? No good gonna come to you. Is this of God? Seems like it to me. Anyway, let me get up out of here. As always, I hope you live your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it. And you don't want to be a nigga like Tyrese because the elves are just going to keep coming.